Today we are working back and shoulders. You will need a set of dumbbells for this workout. By the way, if you're new to my channel, welcome, I'm Kim. My goal is to help women over 50 build strong muscles and lose body fat. I'm here to prove that we can build muscle and have bodies we love at any age. If you're already a subscriber to my channel and back for another workout, welcome. I'm so glad you're here with me. Today, we'll be doing three sets of four different exercises. We'll be doing the supinated row, the wide row, the Y raise, and the shoulder fly. And if you're ready, let's get started. We're gonna get started off with a supinated dumbbell row. So you need two dumbbells, feet comfortable stands, about shoulder width apart. We're gonna hinge at the hips. The back of your hand is gonna face your quads and you're gonna bring the dumbbells up towards your chest, elbows going to the back of the room. We're gonna take it up for 10, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, squeezing the shoulder blades together, six, seven, abs are tight, eight, nine, one more, 10. Nice job, let's rest it out. I'm going to keep moving. If you need a longer break, just hit the pause button, come back when you're ready. All right, abs tight, hinging at the hips, pulling these, the dumbbells up towards your waistline or so. Let's go. One, squeezing those shoulder blades. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more, nine and 10. Nice job, rest it out. We're gonna do it one more time through. When you're ready, abs tight, hinge at the hips. Find a spot on the floor, focusing, focusing on that spot on the floor. Let's lift them up, take it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep going, eight, two more. Last one. Nice job, and rest it out. Next up is the wide row. Again, two dumbbells, hinge at the hips. Weight, the weights are kind of hanging down in front of you. You're gonna bring your elbows up so you form a goal post. Abs tight, let's take it up for 10, take it up. One, two, squeeze in the shoulder blades, three, four, Five, six, seven, keep going. Eight, nine, one more, 10. Nice job and rest it out. You know, we gotta do that two more times. When you're ready, hinge at the hips. Bring it up into that goal post position, squeeze in the shoulder blades, take it up. One, squeeze. Two, three, four, keeping your back nice and flat. Five, six, seven, eight, two more. Nine, last one, 10. Nice job, rest it out. Remember, hit pause if you need to when you're ready. Hinge at the hips, find a spot on the floor, keeps your neck in alignment. Take it up. One, two, three, lots of control. Four, five, six, seven, keep going, almost there. Eight, Nine, last one, 10. Nice job and rest it out. 
Next up is the shoulder fly. You can see I have no dumbbells. I highly recommend no dumbbells, at least for your first set. If this is incredibly easy, you can grab a light weight, but honestly, you may want something as light as one pound to three pounds to do this. Are right, gonna stand up nice and tall. Our arms go up. So we can start out, we'll start off from that here. Like you're gonna make a bicep curl. And then we're just gonna squeeze the elbows in together and out. We're gonna do 10 of these, let's go. One, two, keeping those elbows up. Three, four, five, six. Try to touch those elbows together. Seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Nice job, bring your arms down, rest it out. Again, if that was easy, might have felt easy, grab a small weight and see what you can do. The idea is to keep the elbows up, trying to touch them, you might not, but trying to touch the elbows together. You don't want your arms to start to come down, which they might if the weight gets to be too heavy. You give your, your best try, figure out what works for you. All right, let's do it again. Take it up, or do it, let's do 10, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, 10. Nice job, bring it down. All right, the hard part is really trying to squeeze enough to get those elbows together. You can see my elbows are not coming completely together. That's fine, just do the best you can. All right, let's do it one more time through. Arms are up, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Last one. Nice job and rest it out. Next up is the Y raise. Two dumbbells. We're going to take them up to about, our arms go back about to about that shoulder height, but the dumbbells are gonna angle out to the corners of the room. Abs are tight, shoulders pulled back. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, keep going, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one. Nice job and rest it out. Remember, hit that pause for a little bit longer break. And when you're ready, let's do it again. Standing up nice and tall, shoulders pulled back, abs are tight, butt is squeezed, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one. Nice job. Rest it out. We've got to do that one more time through. Your shoulders should be feeling a little bit tired, so make sure you take a break. When you're ready, let's get into position. Standing up tall, shoulders pulled back, abs are tight, squeeze the butt. We want a really strong core. Now we're gonna lift the weights. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, keep going, eight, two more, last one, nice job, and rest it out, great job, if you enjoyed today's workout, please give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and please leave me a comment. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do that now so you can continue building muscle and creating a body you love. I'll see you in the next video.